My name is Mark Mayberry. I'm a director with BDO USA. Uh, BDO is a national CPA firm. We are primarily focusing on financial audits for public companies, private companies, but we also have a, a bunch of specialty areas. So BDO USA is a member firm of BDO International, which is a global uh, group of CPA firms across the world. We're in over 100 countries uh, with hundreds of offices. The primary value I see of doing data, anal data analysis is that uh, you're able to look at 100% of the data for whatever criteria that you're looking for. So while it may seem that there are hundreds of thousands or millions of records, in reality, you're really looking for those exceptions, and with using a tool, using data analysis tools, helps you sift through all that volume of data to really get to try to find the true story of what's going wrong, what, what the wrong patterns are that are in the data. It's very powerful. It, it can save us a lot of time on our financial statement audits, and it can also help us focus quite a bit more on what we're looking for with the tools that we have available to us and the access to the data that we have uh, better than we used to have. I think it's actually enabled us to do to work smarter and to audit smarter uh, and actually can be a significant time saver as well. So uh, professionally for me, I'd like to talk about the use of computer assisted audit techniques because it helps us really get a focused audit, but it can actually be a time saver as well. Over the number of years I've been doing data analysis, I find that uh, we're actually ha uh, having the ability to have more focused audits, really drilling into those areas that are causing us some risk. The ability to do computer assistive techniques or data analysis can be he very helpful for clients because you may uncover patterns in their data that they weren't really aware of. And when you can present to your client a situation that they weren't aware of that can add value to them as a company, that actually makes them feel very happy that they hired you. So I was once uh, working on a case where uh, some law, law firms were helping to defend uh, people that were in prison in the state that we were hired for. We were trying to figure out if the attorneys were overcharging the state and trying to recoup some money. And through some data interrogation, we were able to uncover some attorneys that were billing very frequently, including up to 22 to 24 hours a day. So with that in mind, we were able to extract some data from there and identify millions of dollars of recovery for the state, uh, charging back these attorneys for the overbillings. I've been using uh, data analytics and computer-assisted audit te techniques probably before they were called computer-assisted audit techniques so for quite a while. And I think the ability to use uh, data analytics are very powerful. It helps us let the data talk to us and find out what the patterns are that uh, are of the uh, outliers, anomalies, if you will. Over the number of years that I've been doing data analysis, I've looked at a number of tools that are in the marketplace, and the primary tool I use is IDEA. The, one of the reasons I like using IDEA is because it's very user-friendly. It has the kinds of routines in it that auditors typically do, and I think that's very powerful. Over the last number of years, I've been very active in the AICPA. I do speak at conferences on data analysis, computer-assisted audit techniques, but I was also the primary uh, contributor to developing the IT audit school for the AICPA. As part of my committee work with the AICPA, I felt there was a need out there for some sort of educational program for IT auditors to learn more about how that fits in with financial statement auditing. There's kind of a disconnect out in the marketplace. And so I helped the AICPA develop the IT Audit School. And my primary role in that was to help the IT auditors understand the power of computer-assisted audit techniques and how they could fit in to a, both an IT audit and a financial audit and how we can bridge that gap. It's important for the IT auditors to understand uh, how to link to the financial statement audit so that we're focusing on the primary areas that create potential financial risk, financial statement risk. Uh, otherwise, uh, you could seem to go down the wrong track, but if you focus on the risk areas for the financial audit, then the IT auditors have the skills to ask those questions of the IT group to get access to data for either controls reviews or for financial statement analysis.